I'm Gordon Cooper, a product marketing manager with NXP Semiconductors. Today we're going to talk about the Android Open Accessory Application Kit designed by NXP and Embedded Artist, our partner. The Android Open Accessory Application Kit allows developers to interface an Android device to an embedded system and to do that using our LPC 1769 Cortex-M3 microcontroller. The Android Open Accessory Application Kit from Embedded Artist and NXP provides developers an opportunity to interface Android smartphones and tablets to an embedded system. The key part of the board here is what connects to the Android device, and the key processor is the LPC 1769. It's a 120 megahertz Cortex-M3 device. Now the USB host capabilities of that device allows us to connect via the USB host connector to the Android device. When, it, when Google opened up the Android spec to allow people to connect to Android devices, it is through a USB host interface, since Android devices are USB device mode. Now eventually they may be USB host, and we're future-proofing this board so we have the ability to connect in device or in host mode. So this chip is the gateway to the rest of an embedded system for your Android device. Through the LPC 1769, you can connect to the Ethernet, you can connect to CAN buses, you can connect to optional wireless modules that are around here, all through the power and performance of that processor. So developers looking to develop an embedded system and wanting to add an Android device to it can do that very easily using this kit, or developers who want to make an Android accessory can also use this kit to develop an Android accessory for their Android tablet or smartphone. So here's an example of connecting up the Android Open Accessory Application Kit to an Android device. In this case, it's a Motorola Zoom. When you connect through the USB connection, it automatically populates this application on the Motorola Zoom. And it's, a, it's basically a simple application, but it shows you some of the, the interaction you can have. So here's a trim pot. Over here is a trim pot, and as I dial this, I can see the results over on the device. I can press the push buttons and see the push buttons changing here, and I can change the LED colors. So I can make one LED red, I can make the other one green, or perhaps I prefer blue. So a simple interface, but you can see as you connect here how easy it is to have an Android device connected and communicating here with your accessory kit. So as part of the Android Open Accessory Application Kit, you get a second NXP 32-bit microcontroller. Here we have an LPC 11C24. It's a Cortex M0 50 megahertz microcontroller with a built-in CAN transceiver and drivers built into the ROM. This part of the board is a CAN node. So there's a CAN bus on the 1769, a CAN interface that talks to the CAN interface of the 11C. You can actually develop a CAN network and test it using this application kit. You can also break this board off, put CAN connectors here, and develop a system where you're remotely testing your CAN network. So the Android Open Accessory Application Kit allows developers and serious hobbyists to design accessories for Android devices, or an embedded system designer to add an Android to their system, perhaps giving you LCD capabilities or the, uh, the wireless connections of the Android. Now, this kit will allow you to get started and do prototyping. Eventually, you'll have to write your own code for the 1769 and develop your own applications for your Android device. For more information, check out these websites. Thanks for watching.